Wondering how to brush your cat's teeth without losing a finger? <laughs> Dr. Warver is here to tell us how and why it's important. I'm Molly and this is Care Experts. Today we're talking about cat dental health with Dr. Jeff Werber, a practicing veterinarian for over 40 years. Dr. Werber, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so first question about cat dental health. Um, does my cat need to have a professional dental cleaning? When does that need to happen? How does it happen? What do I do? Uh, the answer, yes, absolutely. Uh, unless you have a very unique cat, uh, they need to have their teeth cleaned, usually starting around the age of three to four. And the way you tell is, first of all, uh, if they ever pick up food and drop it or increase salivation, something's going on in the mouth. Um, the problem with cats is they will get something called cervical line lesions, which are the closest thing to our cavities. And the nerve is exposed and they are very painful. So when we see that, the, unfortunately, the only treatment is to extract the tooth. Obviously, it has to be done by a veterinarian. Um, when you see tartar building up on the teeth, that's a sign that the teeth need to be cleaned. When the gums are red and irritated, another sign, some cats get something called stomatitis, or again, in advanced cases, the only treatment is all the teeth need to be pulled, or at least the teeth that are involved in that stomatitis. So uh, I would recommend a, a thorough exam by your veterinarian at least once a year, uh, once the uh, cat is three to four years of age, and most likely will need some professional cleaning every year. Okay, great. And then when I'm at home uh, to prevent, you know, having to get a ton of teeth cleaning, what do I do at home? How do I take care of my cat's teeth? Do I brush them myself? What do I brush them with? Human toothpaste, animal toothpaste? What okay, do do? so you definitely need to brush your cat's teeth. Uh, not an easy task. I will tell you, not an easy task. Uh, it's great to start with them when they're very young before they need it, just to get them used to the process. You can just put a little bit of a kitty toothpaste. It's non-sudging. It's usually like chicken or shrimp, you know, fish flavored. And just rub a little bit on their gums. Instead of going at them, I often recommend going from behind them, like you're petting them in the cheeks and then stick your finger in there and just start rubbing the paste on their gums just to get them used to the process. Each time, spend a few more seconds until it becomes somewhat routine for them. And do it before a meal, before a treat, all right? Because that way they'll look forward to it knowing that every time mom comes at me with this finger and this paste, I'm gonna get to eat. So awesome. make it a positive. Yeah, so feed them right after so they but, go, But hmm. do it regularly. If that plaque, which is the film left over from the, from the food they eat, is there, un, you know, not removed for more than two, three days, it starts to harden and becomes tartar, then you can't get it off. It's no good. Right. Okay, great. So are there any foods that help with my cat's dental health? You know, interesting when it comes to foods, people think, well, you feed them dry food, that's going to crunch up. The, the truth of the matter is nothing is going to help. Uh, some cats, if they really like to chew on toys, that might take care of the plaque. Um, but there's, there's no way to remove it other than really thorough brushing. And don't count on the food. Interestingly, when you think about with dogs and cats both, you know, what, what teeth do they use the most when they chew hard food? The molars and the premolars. And yet, those are the teeth that actually have most of the tartar. So that theory is blown. Uh, the reason for that is the salivary ducts, which when it comes to the plaque and what makes it harden, it's the bacteria in the mouth and saliva. Those salivary ducts empty into the mouth right above those premolars and molars. No wonder why they're the ones that are getting the most plaque and tartar. So it's just, um, it, it needs professional cleaning or home care essential. That makes a lot of sense. And are there any dental treats or chews that help? There are many treats and chews out there. De depending on if they're gonna help, it really depends on the individual cat, how they're using them, how often they're using them. Some will, you know, will can chew and chew and eat and play and nothing helps. Some, I've, I've opened, you know, lifted mouths and lifted the lips of some cats and their teeth are gorgeous. They're going, you must be brushing their teeth regularly. They go, no, I hardly ever brush your teeth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are a lucky mom. <laughs> so. That's wonderful. Um, so what are some of the consequences of not cleaning my cat's teeth or when it does get to this point where the plaque is built up? That's where they get the, the severe dental disease. They will get stomatitis. Uh, they will have horrendous breath. And most likely through, you know, if these symptoms are ignored and the problem progresses, then you're gonna end up having to extract a lot of teeth. And we don't want that. We ideally do not want that. And we will be right back after this brief message from Care Credit. Thanks to Care Credit, I can take care of my best friend. Thanks to Care Credit, I can smile again. 
Thanks to Care Credit, I can be confident. Thanks to Care Credit, I can prepare for veterinary care. I can take care of myself again. I can be myself again. I can plan for Cooper's care. I can take care of my pug family. I can. I can. I can. I can have peace of mind. Welcome back, and let's continue our discussion on cat dental health. So what are some of the signs if my cat is experiencing um, poor dental health? What will they exhibit? What, what you might notice as a pet parent, as a cat parent with the signs, as I said, not wanting to eat, worse yet, going up to the bowl, as if they want to eat, but then they take a bite and they, and they have a tough time eating. Mm. That means there's probably a cervical line lesion, severe gum disease, stomatitis, um, and th those animals, those cats need to be seen. If my cat's excessively drooling, is that a sign of an infection? It absolutely could be a sign of infection, excessive drooling or something going on, either the gingivitis or the stomatitis. The, the, there are problems going on in that mouth when the cats drool. Of course, there are certain things they eat and can eat, like certain plants will cause excessive drooling as well. So if you open the mouth and the mouth looks great, everything is, looks fine, no evidence of an, a clear problem, you have to think about something they ate. But either way, excessive drooling sounds like reach out oh, to your vet. Visit, visit to your veterinarian. Okay. Um, would you say that cats are your hardest patients to deal with? Cats are tough. Well, let's put it this way. I often say that I would rather have the most difficult dog, or aggressive dog, than an aggressive cat any day of the week. My, I'm full of them, but when I get scratched or, or, or bites, and my most recent one was, I don't really care much about my dog bites, clean them up, soap and water done. Cats, on the other hand, they have really dirty mouths and, uh, and they're, they're so good with their back feet too. So, uh -huh. so when they don't want to be handled and they're fast, they are really fast. So uh, yes, tough cats, way more difficult than a tough dog. So you did mention stomatitis a couple times and I just have to ask, what is stomatitis? So stomatitis literally means, in, a stoma is the mouth opening and it's inflammation of. It is, think of gingivitis or periodontal disease on steroids. It is so bad that the actual gums and the cat's mouth is rejecting its teeth. It's an allergic reaction, if you will, a hypersensitivity of the cat to its own teeth causing all this severe, severe blown up inflammation in the mouth that is so tender, it is so painful for the cat. They salivate, they don't wanna eat. And as I mentioned, oftentimes the treatment of choice, fortunately rare, uh, if they don't respond to steroids and other medications that might help reduce that inflammation, it is extracting the teeth. And some cats have what they call full mouth extractions, but it solves the problem. So if there's an unexpected situation with my cat and I feel a little hesitant to bring my cat in because I'm worried about financing, um, do you all offer financial options at your practice? Uh, we do offer uh, something that I really like the most and my clients really like it is care credit because with care credit, you have the option to pay over time uh, the care credit. It's, it's, it's a great way to help all of us provide the best of the best and keep everybody happy. That's wonderful. Well, thank you. Now it's time for our rapid fire questions, myth or fact. Uh, so number one, myth or fact, dry food cleans cat's teeth. That is a myth. Uh, and we, we realize that in the film left over from chewing and usually the, the chewing teeth, which are the premolars and molars, interestingly are the ones that get the most harder because the plaque is there. Uh, and there are many cats that can eat as much dry food as they want. They're still going to get plaque and tartar, uh, and as well with the, the canned food. So brushing the teeth, that's the key to get rid of that. Number one myth, okay. Uh, okay, number two, myth or fact, dental problems only affect senior cats. That is definitely also a myth. Dental problems can start literally as early in cats as, as far as teeth at two to three years of age. Oh. And interestingly, even earlier by six months, no. if, if a cat is gonna have what's called retained deciduous teeth, that is a baby tooth that wasn't successfully pushed out of the way as the adult tooth erupted. And now we have double teeth and they're coming out of the same socket, if you will, in the gums and food particles get stuck. Not only do the food particles get stuck up there, but it causes an, an malocclusion because it's affecting the position of where the adult tooth should be. So no, it's not only a senior cat problem, it is an all cat problem. 
<laughs> All right, so number three, myth or fact. Daily toothbrushing can help prevent bad breath in cats. That is definitely a fact. You know, it's, and the key word there was help prevent. I will never, avoiding the absolutes, nothing is gonna ever 100% prevent, but it certainly helps, and it's the best way to you know, sort of spread out those necessary professional dental cleanings. And uh, the cats, once they get used to it, actually can tolerate it pretty well if you use the right equipment with it. It's a, a soft bristle toothbrush or finger brush, which is great, and a non-sudging pet toothpaste. And for cats, shrimp or chicken flavor. So it tastes delicious. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Werber. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thanks for watching. All of our featured care experts recommend and accept the Care Credit credit card, which is accepted at hundreds of thousands of provider locations nationwide. Visit carecredit.com for more information.